So a couple day, days ago on Facebook, I made a post and I said that I think the storm is going to go either through South Florida where Andrew went or a little bit further south in between there. And the models are changing. Um, I can't, you know, I can't use Wonder Grounds images uh, with either fair use or anything like that because they're copyrighted. But go to Wonder Ground and check out the forecast models. They're taking it at the farthest north, the Bahamas around Miami, and then at the farthest south that they say is below Cuba. So in the center of the cone, the actual spaghetti models are taking it uh, Miami, uh, Miami-Dade County, Homestead, or the Florida Keys in between Florida and Cuba. So, um, something about the storm that I noticed that's rather unique is the intensity has stayed right around the same. Like it's, the winds have been between 120, I mean 100 and 120, they fluctuated from 100 to 120 over the last few days, but they most that most of that time they stayed at around 110, and they went up to 115 once or twice, 120. But it's very unusual. Most storms they'll fluctuate in intensity, but a lot in a lot broader of a range than this one. But um, yeah, there's a lot of people saying that it's going to hit New York on 9/11, and some of the models not the same models they show you but there's these other um there's all kinds of resources on the i'll put some links in the description of this there's all kinds of resources on the internet you can use like uh the florida state university has all kinds of meteorological tools for analysis that anybody can use and i'll put a link for that in the description but a lot of them had it going towards new york but uh, oddly enough they didn't mention that on any of the weather or news stations I'm not saying that I believe it or that, it, you know, I don't know. But I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there. But I don't think that's going to happen. I'm pretty sure this thing is going to either hit South Florida or go between South Florida and Cuba through the Florida Keys and then probably head for Northwest Florida. So. It is quite impressive, though. <clears throat> The satellite imagery, it's got like the uh, outflow, you know, it's, it's the symmetry and and the meteorologists were also talking about how it's it's got that good outflow. There's like the spiral bands that come off and then you see the little spaces in between there where it can, you know, get ventilation. And But uh, I'll let you guys check out the rest of this uh, satellite imagery history loop. Provided by NASA, the National Hurricane Center, NOAA, and uh, let's see what's going on with those things.